Okay, now we're going to play with the distributor. I just took off the ignition box. I only had to unhook, uh, I think, the tack output, and it's just a sp it's just a quick connector, anyways. Um, I also disconnected the uh, feed in the signal in from the distributor to the to the uh, control box. Just so I have room to work, I also took off one of the vacuum lines on the back of the intake. So now what you would like to do is, first of all, you want to try to make your timing the same when you put this guy, the new one, in. So try to pick a, a reference point that you can use to actually see this thing. So the reference point that I chose is the back half of the distributor is flat. I suppose I can start by showing you the new one first. So this is the, f the back half that's flat. So essentially mine's sitting in there like this right now with the back end turned towards the firewall. Um, so these three actually go in a straight line and the way that I'm looking at that is one, two, and three go in a straight line to that vacuum line. So I should be able to roughly set my timing where it was. The next thing you're going to want to see is where the rotor is actually located underneath this cap. So now that I know that uh, now that I know where my cap should be facing when all this is said and done, I'm going to take the cap off, leaving the wires attached, and I'm going to try to see where that pickup is actually pointing the um, on the distributor itself. Okay, so now that I've got that cap off, um, take a peek inside. There's actually a lot of built-up corrosion. Um, keep in mind, I only have 3,000 kilometers on this engine since it's been rebuilt and this was a new cap and rotor when they were put in the amount of buildup on there is, is surprising and even the center electrode is uh, has got a worn flat spot in it it's almost a dome shape being worn out MSD in my opinion eats distributors distributor caps I should say rotors and spark plugs in my experience I think because now it's sending multiple sparks instead of just a single spark and these original caps were probably never designed for anything more advanced than what the original setup was supposed to be which was a, a lower power coil obviously mine's been upgraded and um, things along those lines especially not an ignition box so you can see where my rotor is currently pointed towards the back of the engine uh, just shy of 90 degrees to the back plate of this distributor. So when I remove my hold down clamp, let's see if I can do this, which is down there, once I remove this hold down clamp, that distributor will pull straight up and out. And what I want to do is because the gear on the bottom of the distributor is actually angled, let's pull this off here. Because of the angle to it, when you put it in, it will rotate the rotor inside. So this is why it's important to check first where it was pointed before you pull it out because it will rotate once you go to pull that out. And you want to make sure that that rotor is pointed in the same place that it is now. Um, so this will just save you a lot of time trying to dick around after the fact. So there's electrical connectors on the back of my uh, distributor, just two of them plug and play with the new distributor so I have to remove those I have to take the tie down clamp I have to loosen that right off and that it's actually a slotted hole I don't know if you could tell but that clamp will slide back once it's been loosened and that'll let me pull this distributor straight up and out of the engine the other thing worth mentioning um, perhaps you can see but I can switch to a macro is that it's flat inside of the distributor that's actually the drive for your oil pump in some instances you'll have to actually stick something into the block and rotate that drive so it matches up with this drive in order for your distributor to land in the right spot when you put it in but these are just things you're going to tweak mess around with and try to make work as you go <coughs> um, some people will take a grease pencil and mark where the uh, distributor cap is pointing and I'm going to do that onto my firewall just with a piece of tape for now and uh, as far as the physical setting of the distributor. Like I said, I've already got my reference point, so I know roughly where that should line up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, just to show you the difference between these two distributors, this is the original one, and you can see that there is quite a bit of corrosion inside of the cap there. That's the original distributor from when the truck was first built. 
So that's to be expected. Like I said, there's 200,000 kilometers in the engine, um, so things do wear out. And I know that I have replaced the components in the distributor uh, once for sure. This is the new one, clearly. How clean it is. Take this cap off here. Just to begin, inside the cap, obviously there's no corrosion, and that center pin is rounded. Looking at the components inside this distributor, um, right off the bat you can tell that everything is bigger and beefier, and it looks much neater and cleaner. Also, that old, look at this new pickup style here. It's a different design than what was originally inside the S10. Um, this one has seen better days. And you can feel there is some play in it. So I'm really hoping that this will make a large difference with uh, the ignition on this truck. Because I've always felt that it was pretty weak. So, I'm going to uh, get this baby covered in the, uh, the lube that it comes with. It's a, uh, a break-in, a gear break-in. Uh, lube, so you should. It's a thicker. It's thicker than oil, so you should be coating this gear with it once you install it, and that's just to help initial break in. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get that thing covered up. It's really sticky, so I'll probably just drop this in and uh, get that rotor cap, rotor lined up where I need to be, and then I'll turn that camera back on there and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, well, I just slid it right on in. Um, the physical timing has lined up with my previous mark, which is good. Um, one thing to consider is when you pull out the old distributor, take note of where this uh, rotor cap points in relation to the base, and that gives you an easier guess as to where it should be pointed when you go to drop the new one back in, or if you're reinstalling the old one. Um, basically, it was just dropped right in, and it, uh, it sits in there nicely. So now I'm going to uh, bring that tie-down clamp in the bottom corner here. I'm going to slide that into place and not tighten it, but I'm going to uh, drive that nut back down, or that bolt back down. I'm going to install a new cap, and the way that I like to do that is I usually leave the old cap on, and one by one, I move the spark plug wires over in the order that they're installed, so just not to confuse anything. Um, I do have my Haynes manual, which shows me which plug, which plug wire goes to which uh, connector on the distributor, but to save myself some time and hassle, it was already working like this, so I may as well just follow it. So I'm going to go ahead and install the new cap on the wires, and then install the cap on the distributor. Well, the new distributor cap is installed, and as far as I can tell, it's pointed in the same direction. Um, I shouldn't have much of a problem firing this thing up. I have to reconne reconnect the ignition box, and then I can uh, see if this thing's going to fire up. Also, I'll get my timing light ready to uh, set the timing on this thing. So for now, I've tightened the tie-down clamp. This thing doesn't move. And uh, like I said, I'm going to throw this back on, and then we'll turn the key. Okay. Well, let's throw the key and uh, see if she fires up now. This is the new distributor, as well as the underdrive pulley kit. Keeping in mind, I have not set the timing, so that's something that I'm going to do uh, once the truck is warm, and uh, so far it's running, so that must mean that distributor is working correctly. All I did was uh, loosen the distributor cap, and just by ear, I just changed the timing. I wanted it to run smooth, but right now it's, it's idling very smooth. It's quiet. Let's go in the cab for a minute. said there's clearance on my belt between all my uh, hoses. No engine lights on. The RPM is lower. It's about 650 I'm guessing. And see the voltage bouncing around. 
it must be just... There we go. Now the electric fan's on. Yeah. So it's right at the threshold of the alternator speed where it's charging or not charging. I mean, it's half charging, I should say. Any little bit of RPM brings it right up. That's good. And another thing that you should check immediately once installing a new distributor is that you have oil pressure. Again, that gear on the bottom, that spade inside, drives your oil pump. If somehow you manage to break the linkage or it's not engaged properly, that's going to be a problem because you won't have any oil pressure.